Hello you guys and it is morning here so good morning. <laughs> um, I've had quite the morning already. Um, I've had to save a, a mole from my cats. Poor thing was like I heard all this noise at the back door and I see them and I hear this like squeaky noise and I go out there and um, there it is. It's like a, it's got like its defense. It's like got to stand in a little pause. Oh my god, I felt so terrible. So anyway, I got a bucket. I put it over there, slid a folder and a magazine to for stability and save the poor little guy's life. <laughs> so yeah, it's been quite a morning. Um, okay, so I wanted to come on and show you guys how I put together a composition book. I had a question on how to add um, papers into the stitching or like how you put the random pages or the junk making it into more of a junk journal type by adding different elements of papers in here so I wanted to come on and show you guys uh, what I'm going to do um, I've also come to a decision of Christmas how I'm going to document my Christmas because you know that's like an important factor here <laughs> but um, but first let's well I'll kind of talk about it as I go along so what I've done is I have removed the stitching so how that is is um, it, you'll notice like if you're using a composition book it's you pretty much can kind of tell because it has a little little opening here where the pages are stitched so you can kind of see the stitching in there so what I do is I take a pair of scissors or you could take a pair of like um, exacto knife or something but I'm just gonna cut each of these little bits of stitching right and then you'll see that it just it will come well if I cut that one it will pretty much remove itself once you cut all the stitchings out see how that page comes up like that so then what you're I'm going to put this one aside I just wanted to show you guys how exactly it's it's super easy to remove the stitching and then you have your whole pack of paper here so as I did in the other one, I'm going to remove uh, seven pages. Now you may ask why seven pages? One, two, hold on, let me count it out before I answer that question. Three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of learned that from just watching other YouTube videos. I don't know, I cannot tell you why that's the golden number. I will try to find the video that I found that out on and leave it down below. Now. It typically what I think it did was it created enough pages once you glued your pages together for two months I'm hoping usually I kind of count this out these have a hundred pages so if you removed that would be 14 I think I don't know but I'm hoping this will last me for two months and this is why um, I have decided to go into doing my November and December in one book um, now my daughter loves having a standalone journal for Christmas like a, a memory book a scrapbook a journal and so I think I'm going to I, well I know I'm going to I'm going to create a, um, a scrapbook slash journal to me it's still a junk journal you know because um, she loves it has all the things in it you know <laughs> and I want to do that as a standalone um, like a story a day but then I also still want to keep up with my creative document my creative daily journal right so that's kind of what I feel at peace with it I've thought about it like how am I going to do this because a lot of times that when I'm thinking about Christmas I think about like past Christmases and one time I did that in a book about she's like this isn't going to be about all the like past Christmas and not future and so um, and then this way I can you know this will give her a book at the end of um, you know that she can take with her so of course it has my son in it but you know whatever the case is they <laughs> they can figure that out but they do like having the books out and looking through them at Christmas I like to put them out which I got to get in the this cabinet here oh I have them in a cedar chest and all my stuff is on top of it so I got to get in there and get them out and set them out but anyway so that's kind of what I've come up with so but today we're going to be doing my November and December setup. Um, as I mentioned before, I am including um, part of Little Golden Book in there. 
um, if you've purchased the kit thank you so much you guys are so awesome I really appreciate it um, it's been fun so I'm gonna be putting those kits together as fast as I can and getting those shipped out to you I'm still waiting on a few more things to come in but um, but yeah I'm excited about getting those in the mail to you guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you guys um, what I plan on doing with my little golden book and then also including different ways uh, that you can, um, um, if you wanted to use just the golden book for your journal this year. So, um, so let me go in and the reason I selected this book, and I know I mentioned Germany in my last video, is because we're, I'm going to be, I have three um, journal ladies that I have, um, interviewed you guys before summer this is so sad and I apologize and I need to send them all an email and tell them life got crazy busy but I think it's perfect because last year I did a Sweden Christmas and this year I'm going to do a German Christmas so a lot of our traditions are German my mom is um, of German heritage but um, and we live in a big German community here um, where I live but I love this book because it has um, Christmas around the world in it has just different um, countries I didn't see Germany in here though I didn't see German in here but anyway I just thought I just love this book plus I picked one of the older books for me you can tell it has like major water damage on it um, but in a way I kind of like that feel of the pages the crinkly pages um, so cute anyway the illustrations you know me and my illustrations I just love so me taking apart this book I will be doing this many times showing you guys how I'm going to be using the different books because I will pick a book um, for my the, the standalone journal but I literally just pull off this cover here the older books I think uh, I don't know if they're more easier sometimes I run into like where they are like really sturdy this isn't that old of a book when I can tell if it's an old old book and I really have a hard time tearing it up is if it doesn't if it doesn't have a barcode if it has a barcode I don't feel like it's that old but if it doesn't have a barcode then I feel like oh do I really want to tear this book up so <clears throat> but this one is like I said has like water damage on it it's um it's very very crinkly and so I'm just gonna tear this book out now if you're using the book we would save the cover but I'm not using the book cover which I could still save that I mean I wouldn't you could always cover it and use it like later on down the line okay so this it comes in two sections two signatures and I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the entire book in my journal so I really want the thing with this you can kind of change it around let's see if I can somehow fix this where it will work for me again these are going to not be in the same order so I don't think it really matters But if you want to keep an order, please do. I mean, I'm just kind of fiddling and I'm trying to figure out what works. I love the nativity. Okay. To be honest, I could include this entire book in here. By the time I take all my pages out, I could include this book. Now, what I'm going to do, since I am including these book pages, even though I don't know if I will use these um, if I would use all of these um, to, if I would just leave them in there as the book let's see here oh I want that okay if I would use these as part of my book just having them in there or if I would actually cover up things or write on it I don't know yet until I get into the book so let me show you what I'm going to do because I do want to include some pretty papers in here like I have this pink you know I'm loving the pink Christmas so I do want to include this and what I use is a bone folder when I start adding different pages that makes a better crease um, in 
the the pages which makes them lay a lot flatter I saw this candy um, themed uh, from a cookbook this one also was from a cookbook that I thought was kind of like look like Thanksgiving so I'm gonna do that one now keep in mind that as you keep adding papers it, I had a Care Bear in there because I just thought it was so cute but I may wait off on that um, as you keep adding different pages the thickness goes up and you're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out more pages because of and I may hold off on this I may do the red so now I have one, two, three, four five and then all these book pages included in here I'm kind of feeling weird about having all these book pages the thing is I can cut these up and put them in there okay I'm gonna take out that and just include three of those pages because it's really feeling bulky to me um, we'll see let's get into it and then if I want to add them we can add them so being that I'm going to be adding pages I think I'm going to take out one two, one two three four five I think I'm going to take out like five additional pages now technically what I would do two three four five and the reason I'm taking out five is I'm just kind of like taking out the pages that I'm replacing so I have like five pieces more than five pieces but you know I'm kind of like judging it about thickness because you are going to have to you know over time it's going to get fluffier and fluffier now if by ch what I would typically do is I would count out my pages but like I would do one two and then I would say okay that's November 1st November 2nd but I've been doing a little bit different like sometimes I add like Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday if nothing major is happening if I have like just some decorations some stickers and then my um, picture and then some journaling so I will make this work if not we'll add some pages we'll do some tip-ins you know we're not gonna lose sleep over it right <laughs> try not to lose sleep over it. so okay so let's go ahead and get started now one of the things I do try to do let's just see how this okay so I do like that but see again I'm I'm torn because at Christmas Treasury this is actually starting November 1st even though eh, granted it, it kind of starts November 1st <laughs> to be honest with you my life at Christmas starts November 1st okay so we're just, I'm just gonna go with it no rules no rules okay so basically you know we glued two pages together so I'm gonna go one two so that's gonna be a page one two one two one two okay I think this is a good spot to add another page in here we can add this page right and then we're going to count out one two one two one two and then I'm going to add another pretty page out of, the, out of our book here and I am just randomly doing this I am not like every other page or whatever I'm just kind of I'm just making sure there's two pages here that I can glue together two one two um, so that I have now if something happens and it has happened to me where you have more pages left than like the meaning like oh I had I counted three pages out instead of the two you can add cardstock, you can make it thicker. Let's see, one, two, one, two. And you get to use some pretty more pretty paper, but you know, like if you had a standalone and you're like, oh, it's so thin, you can I've 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 actually just used it as thin paper, but I've also like added um cardstock in there. I kinda wanna add I do wanna add another piece of Kind of change it up a little bit here. Let's see, one, two, one, two. Um, I'm 
running out of paper. Let's see, we can pull in another. Oh no, this is still part of what I wanted to include. Okay, and then let's see if it ends even. One, two, one, two. We can put another one of some food in there. I love using these uh, pages uh, from old cookbooks. One, two, and then one, two. Perfect. So we got it. So let's fold it together. Now, one of the things that I have learned and I've talked about it before is that my when you do stuff like this, your pages tend to like stick out over the edge like so. And I wish I had one of my journals down here to show you how it's okay that that happens. Some people may that be like, oh my gosh, it's not okay with me. What I do is when that happens, I just add more edging. This is where I'll come in and like add, um, see how it kind of like sticks out over the edge. I add trim to, I wish, where are you? Let's see if I got here. Here's one. Okay, so this is a prime example of like over fluffiness, and I love it. I just want to hug this. See how it kind of sticks out like the paper? But literally, by the time that you have your journal done, it's so fluffy and fun that that doesn't bother me. I mean, it really and truly, by the time you add all the fluffiness, but when you go to store it, I tie my little tie on here like this, and I just store it like that. So it's it's okay to have some fluff out there. There's one that I actually did put. Oh, here we go. I actually did put this ribbon on the back side of it to kind of cover up the um, the fluff to kind of like but again you can see by the time you add all your edgings and stuff in there it's so gorgeous and pretty you, not this this is just beautiful so so that is that okay so now how are we gonna bind this I'm gonna leave a link below to this kit that I order right now if you have a sewing all AWL, it would work too. And I've shown this before, but I don't remember when. Um, I did a class, I think, on how to do this too, like in person. Um, actually, I recently did this, but anyway, we're gonna act like I never did it before <laughs> and show you guys. Okay, so I I ordered this set for six dollars, six dollars and ninety nine cents off Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Um, but this is called an all, it could be used as a deadly weapon, um, just saying. <laughs> um, and so this is where you're going to come in. Oh yeah, I just, I did this recently. This is like summer stuff I did. But you're going to come in and add holes because we're going to sew it together. Now with this kit comes this great wax um, string. You could use like embroidery string. You could use... Um, I've tried to use yarn, which it works. It's, it's a little tricky because yarn is thick, so it's hard to get through some of the pages, but it looks really cute when it's done. But I've been using this because it comes with it, and I feel like with the wax, it gives it that little bit more stability. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... I, usually I do like two links, maybe two and a half, just to be on the safe side, right? So I'm going to cut that. And I mean, I have used this. I've done a class with this. I've, I've been, I've done several journals. So, um, it lasts quite a long time. Now, if you're if you're freaking out a little bit, saying, "Oh my gosh, I this is way more than I want to do," but I still want to use my little golden book. You can. I mean, this is just another way to add additional little pages in your junk journal. If you want to do the original. Um, like um, composition book but you want to still use your your book your blah 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 your your book you can actually like literally tape this in which let's do that we'll do that at the end we'll tape one in so that way you can kind of see that as well okay so let me string this together 
um, and we're going to do it just like you would an embroidery. Maybe if I can fit it through. Okay. Oh, and it comes with all these needles too, you guys, so it's really a nice little kit. So you keep a long strand and then you just keep it like short, like this. Because this is pretty sturdy. Okay, so I've got my needle strung, I've got my awl, and this is where you want to get two clips because you want to hold all your papers together. So I line it up the best that I can, right? And I squish it in as far as I can to the to the binding. Alright, straighten it up. Make sure it's all the pages are lined up. Like so And then I'm going to get my clip, this clip here. And I'm going to get, where's this other clip? That may not hold it, that's kind of, oh here we go, my hand clip, the hand. Okay, so we got it, we feel good about it. Is it straight? I'm not feeling good about that. Actually, I'm going to use this other clip. This hand is really heavy. Let's use this one up here. Maybe. I just don't want those pages to move and create a, um, where the pages are not like on the, okay, there, and binding clips work too for these, okay, so, my top is even, I'm feeling good about these two, and we're gonna, this is not even. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get there. We are, I promise. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Okay. So where's my all? So luckily with these, you have the line. You have the automatic holes, so they're pretty good to be able to line up. So I'm gonna go four holes down. And I'm going to stick this through, which is going to create a hole. See, that's that's where I come in. I want to make sure that that hole lines up in that binding, which this one is not. Let's try that again. Okay, that's better. So let's go ahead and get this straightened out a little bit. Okay, see how that, whoops, sorry. See how that's poking out there? You could bend your book just a little bit here. Then I'm going to come back from the bottom and I'm going to do the same one, two, three, four, right? Or was it this one? I think it was that one. Again, you don't have to be like totally right on target, but I like to be as close as possible. Even steep. Okay, so then you need to make a middle one, which I'm going to think right here. And I'm going to make a middle, uh, a hole. Don't poke yourself. It takes quite a bit of um, pushing and turning of that of that all. Okay, now you got your three holes, right? So now you got to decide: Do I want my string in the middle, which that's typically what I do, or you can have your string where you tie it on the outside? I'm going to do mine on the inside. So at the same time, you want to keep that bent a little bit, and we're sewing our journal. So it's going through here, at the middle one. Again, you don't have to be, st this, this can either be done on the bottom or the top, but I'm going to go at the top. So then I'm going to bring it through, this is what I mean, you can either go here or here, it all ends up the same. But I'm going to go through the top, like so. 
right? You want to make sure that it flattens, but you want to make sure you keep your string in the middle because you're going to need that to sew it. Then we're going to come back down. We're going to cross over that hole and come back through the bottom one. Like so. So now, let's pull that second string up a little bit. So now you have it going across, and now you have it coming back. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to go back through the original hole, that middle hole. Somehow, we're going to do that. <laughs> See what I mean, like with the yarn, I mean, I have struggled. It does work, but I've had to really, like, get it to work. And what I've done in the past, which creates an issue, is if I accidentally run my needle through the middle of the, the string, sometimes it helps to bend the page a little bit. Let's see. Where are you? Okay, let's try this. I'm going to repunch this hole a little bit so I can... Okay, now it looks like a mess now, but we're going to get it straightened up. So we're going to bring it back through that middle hole. We're going to make sure that all these strings are tight, right? So see how that stitching's done? Up, down, over, up, down again. So that string is tight. The string in the middle is tight. We're going to put our needle away so we don't poke ourselves with it. And then what I like to do is actually tie that middle string in the middle here. So I'm going to just trim this off and I'm going to double knot this or triple knot it. And then we're just going to tie this. I put that middle, see I put this middle, the string that crossed over in the mid, in between these two so it kind of holds it in place. Ta-da! I'm going to triple knot it. Okay, let's take our binding clips off and voila, you've got your pages in there. So now you have all these little random insert pages that are so fun. Okay, so say for instance you're like, I don't want to do that, it's just too much. I see this one's off a little bit, um, I'm okay with that. But say, for instance, you're like, oh, gee, I don't want to do all that sewing and tearing apart and all that stuff. What you can do if you want to use your little, um, your little book here. I wish I knew when Christmas morning was. That would be perfect for this to be in there. But let's see if there's another page. Oh, here's some cute little bunnies that are, because I might save this for my Christmas morning. Um, when I get to that. So say you're like, okay, I took my book apart. I want to include it in my journal, but I don't want to go through all the rigmarole of tearing it apart, etc. What you can do, let's find an open page here. So let's count it out. One, two, one, two. We're going to find an open page here. And we're going to tip it in. Oh, I need my I need some Christmas. Um, actually, let's. Oh, this is that mushroom one. I'm looking for some Christmas washi. Let me. Oh, wait. What's this? Sorry for the. Okay, this is fine. This will work. So I'm gonna come across here, and I'm gonna tip it in. Make sure it's down in there. So it closes. Let 
You could leave that on there because you don't like to leave that, but I'm going to take it off for now. And then. But what I want to do is I want to um, actually like cut the pages out and glue them directly onto. Uh oh, what did I do? What did I do? Maybe I didn't need that center piece in there. I guess I didn't need to put it down the center. I'm used to like leaving the edges on there and it uses it as a but I think it kind of looks nice. You guys, it's raining here. I can hear it outside. I'm so excited. We get our first cold front today. It's finally going to feel like fall around here. Last week it was 94 degrees. Did not like that at all. Okay. So, set now. I gotta clean that up a little bit. Now, you have, you can tip in. If you only want to do one page, you can only do one page. But now you have that extra page in there to add your story to. So that, that's an option too. And then like I said, when it comes to Christmas morning, I'm going to either like cut this down and I could do the same process or I can cut this poem out, you know, and just stick it on. Um, oh, the poem continues on the end. So what I'm probably going to do is cut this in half and tip it in for my Christmas morning. And then actually like the bear and stuff, this would be on another page. Excuse me, Bear with Rainbow, how cute is that? And um, Littlest White Bear, let's put a rainbow on it, that's cute. So I can actually cut this out and use it in my journal. That's, so that's another option. But Alright you guys, I hope that this helped in the process. I am so excited now, I've got my journal ready for, now it comes fun, the fun time of like decorating it and gluing my pages together and putting my stuff on, as I did in the other one. So. I'll come back and show the cover, of course, and um, I got my November BBG Girl out. If you're not familiar with the BBG Girl, it's uh, my uh, Big Brave Girls. Basically, they are big enough to go into these composition books. They do an intro. Let's see if I can show you. This nuts girl. This is her. Yeah, isn't she adorable? So it, the set comes with the days of the week, the numbers, and her cuteness. And then these all are stickers that you can put on to your journal. So, yeah, so I'm going to come in and add her um, soon. And I'll do that on video, too. All right, you guys, y'all have a super day. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns on how this works. Um, it's fairly, once you get, I know it seems kind of, I didn't want to do this forever. I didn't want to sew forever forever you guys when I used to use travelers notebooks and now I'm like oh it was not that hard but I was thinking it was like oh I can never do that <laughs> all right you guys y'all have a great day bye bye